Now, did you know that when teachers give students tests without feedback, this boosts retrieval practice, enhancing retention later on more than going over the material and restudying it again. So for teachers, quiz, quiz, question, question. For parents with young people in their house, think of quizzing your child rather than getting them to go off and restudy in their bedroom. Now in this research paper, The Power of Testing, researchers suggest that testing doesn't just measure knowledge, it actively strengthens memory for future benefits. So the result, this is when we start to get into the territory of metacognition, which simply means where students can start to self-regulate their learning, their behaviors, and use information in the future where it starts to become subconscious and we don't really think about it anymore. And hopefully we're drawn upon past information to make the right decisions. So for example, let's think of in our maths classroom, there's lots of people in the world who criticize some of the decisions we make in our schools and why we have to learn uh, the Pythagoras theorem. Let's take that as an example. Now in our maths classrooms, many years later, we might think, well, school's done and dusted now. Why am I gonna use this information? Now, if you think about it, you rarely wonder now that you can calculate the shortest route on a dog walk if you're stuck or lost in the middle of a forest or on a long drive on the motorway navigating traffic jams, what decision do you do? So in the latter example, of course, you can use your satellite navigation, but you're still using prior knowledge from that maths lesson to determine which is the shortest route to take. Now you'll either know the local roads, so that schema, that knowledge allows you to make those decisions, or you're in an unfamiliar situation and you have to rely on what you know previously to make the right decisions. So Pythagoras theorem, what might be an abstract concept in a maths classroom from years ago is now manifesting itself in a real world practical problem situation without you even realizing. Now, if you need further evidence why teachers should test, so think quizzing and questioning, it's the way forward. This research backs up what great teachers do in the classroom. This little graphic here suggests that immediately after five minutes, the benefits not so much, but over a week, the benefits are significant. So as ever from me, my question to teachers watching is, how do your school leaders promote a school-wide culture of testing? So retrieval practice and quizzing, and for parents watching, rather than sending your young person upstairs to their bedroom to restudy, perhaps you should lead a quiz with them and see how they get on. Thanks for watching.